What's going on? Welcome back to another quick little update of uh, really the truck. That's all I got for today. I've got the uh, fuel regulator wired in or uh, plumbed in. I'd show you, but it's pretty dark in there. You can't really see anything. I don't feel like turning on these lights. But um, yeah, what I ended up doing is I did a, uh, I ran the regulator. I need uh, some more AN10 line. I got uh, 20 feet coming in because I need to run it from the back of the firewall um, over to the back of the tank. So, but today uh, what I do have is a wheel update. UPS dropped the wheels off today and I am super pumped about them. I, um, I really like these wheels. Um, I may end up doing something different later down the road, but for now, I think this is a perfect look for this truck. Um, as far as the fitment goes, the wheels look like they're gonna they're not gonna be an issue, but we won't know till we put some tires on it. Um, I may end up going lower with the truck. I, I it's got two inch drop spindles in the front. Um, it's got drop springs in the front, in the rear. It's got the drop shackles in the back, and the axle is uh, still over the. Wait, what? The leaf spring is still over the axle on this truck. And I can't really mess with that because I have cow tracks. And then if I switch that around, I'll have to order a different um, different bracket for the cow tracks. And it is what it is. It's just there. I don't want the truck too low because I don't want it um, slamming and, and doing that as I'm riding around. So I'm just going to get a nice tire, lower as much as I can. I may play with some, some lift shackles, drop shackles, maybe... Um, get a lowering hanger for it um who knows i may end up doing something i don't, I don't know um or raise lower if you lower it it'll lift it yeah i don't want that i don't know we're just gonna i don't know that's all right but here's what i got for the wheels so what i ended up doing is i went with the del rays so i went with a set of 20 by 8s in the front and this has a four inch back spacing and it's got a nice little uh it's got a nice little lip on it I think that's going to look real good. I'm not going to put any beater rings or anything on them. I don't know if you count on these or not. I really don't. Um, but I'm going to leave them just like that. Um, I've got the center caps for them. Um, I wanted to keep kind of that, that, that classic look of the truck, but also wanted to put some meats on this thing. So in the rear, this is where it gets good. So what I ended up doing in the rear is I did here a, um, let's see here. I did a 20 by 11 in the rear. Um, the wheel itself is actually a inch uh, wider, so it's really a 20 by 12 wheel from the end of the wheel to yeah from from both ends of the wheels. But where the bead sits, it's actually a 20 by um, by 11. So it's this is a five and a uh, five and a half uh, backspacing on this truck, and let's just kind of check it out. So it it's got a nice. It's got a nice lip on here. Um, I really like this. You got a, yeah, you got a nice little lip here. Same thing, original um, style caps. But man, this thing is gonna be, is gonna be wide. See how it looks like from the back. You can't really. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a wide wheel. That's gonna look real good. The concern I had was looking at this. Man, it's a uh, it's gonna work, but it's just kind of snug. You've got probably about an inch or so, um, an inch or so lip from the wheel to the. Uh, you can, I guess it's. Let me fix the. Uh, inch or so lip between the uh, wider part of the fire of the fender well um, and then the actual wheel so I don't see it being a problem but we'll never know until we put the wheels on there if I need to um, tub the uh, fender well right here because this lip sinks you know it's further back and it's raised out here towards the uh, towards this side so um, we'll see what happens I don't think it'll be an issue um, there should be plenty of room right there. But yeah, that's all I got. I got uh, 20 by eights in the front with the four inch back spacing. And then um, I did a, uh, let's see here, 
20 by 11 um, with a five and a half back spacing on this truck. So again, I'm really pumped with how these wheels look. Uh, like I said, I wanted to keep that, I wanted to keep that classic look. And I think this wheel really does that because the factory ones, it's the same style. Boom. And the reason why The reason why I didn't go with the, why I didn't stick with the factory wheel is, to be honest with you, this truck's probably gonna have close to, I don't know, maybe a thousand horsepower or maybe over, who knows, maybe I'm exaggerating it, I, I really don't know. Um, I've got three fuel pumps, I got three of the Hellcat fuel pumps. Um, the turbo's good for I think like 11 or 1200, it's an 88 millimeter VS racing turbo. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna run the hell out of the truck and just see what happens. Um, but um, the factory brakes already were shit when I was driving this thing around. They would they just lock up. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna order a different. Uh, I'm gonna order a big brake kit. Um, probably nothing too expensive. Probably like a C C P or whatever type of deal. Um, but. Um, other than that, that's all I got. That's the reason why I went with the bigger wheels is because I wanted the bigger brakes. And um, that's just, that's it. I got a quick little update for y'all. Um, I still got to wait on some AN um, line to plumb the fuel rails to the back. And then um, I have to wait for a uh, firewall grommet that comes in Friday so that I can wire everything inside the cab up underneath the dash. So that's gonna what I'm going to work on this weekend. Um, and that's, that's really it. That's all I got. So... Um, Stay tuned for the next video, and hopefully the next one's me firing this thing up. Ho hopefully. Fingers crossed.